Netflix is definitely trying to reach those Disney heights. So Netflix actually very recently stated that they are trying to reach the quality heights that Disney movies are known for, that they are serious about meeting and even exceeding this sort of quality. And that's, as you obviously know, that's easier said than done. And I admit that when I saw and read these articles that stated this, I kind of eye-rolled a bit because like, oh, well, of course you want to reach those heights because you want that... Disney animation money, but come on, man, you just can't reach that height. I don't know, man, with this movie, Over the Moon, Netflix has proven me wrong hard. Because I think it's it's really freaking good. It's about this young girl named Feifei who needs to go to the moon to meet the moon goddess Chang'e. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So she can prove something important to her dad. And the story is incredibly well done it's extremely fantastical once the fantastic stuff takes off but it's like really grounded and relatable in the sense that some of the best pixar movies are uh such as up and inside out and so on because it deals with the loss of a loved one and moving on from that loss and it's a really heavy subject and it does it extremely well and mixes it in with the fantastical stuff very well it doesn't quite reach the heights of those movies. Again, Up, Inside Out, Coco, and all of those amazing Pixar and Disney films. But it holds its own and it executes its story extremely well with appealing characters and, and a ton of Chinese mythology that I know nothing about. And all of this was like totally brand new to me, but I appreciated learning all of this for the first time. And it is absolutely fantastic and amazing and i would i would actually love to see more amazing animated films like this based on chinese mythology the animation quality is all so incredibly well i would say that aside from the story that the animation is a very close second to the things that i thought that this movie did extremely well the animation is absolutely top notch and one thing that totally caught me off guard was because I didn't get this from the trailer that I saw like a month back or something, that this thing is a full-on musical, man. There are a ton of songs. It feels like after every song number, a few minutes later, there's another song, which is great. Not all of the songs are amazing, but most of them are. And they did a good job. And because of this, I gotta give Over the Moon an 8 solid 8 out of 10. Netflix, you proved me wrong, man. You proved that you can meet those Disney heights. You're not, you're, not, you're not quite there yet, Netflix, but you're sure climbing those steps. And if you are as serious as you stated you are, I'm sure you'll probably reach those Disney heights within the next few years. Hey, Chung, I'm gonna be there soon. This has been Asian Action Actor. And if you think that my review of Over the Moon did reach those extremely high heights, please click the like down below and subscribe so you won't miss any of my awesome content. And while you're here, you might want to check out the other movie and series reviews that I have already done on my channel.